To everyone, it seems that an actor's life is a fairy tale, posing in front of cameras, traveling to the most interesting countries for movie promotions, and then collecting all the laurels and listening to the enthusiastic reviews and gratitude of the audience in real life. But it's all very different, and sometimes actors on set find themselves on the brink of death. Who are these actors and actresses who have escaped death on set? Diane Kruger and Inglorious Basterds. During the filming of Inglorious Basterds, Quentin Tarantino was so determined to get a real choking scene that he nearly strangled Diane Kruger. As a result, the actress lost consciousness. Later, Kruger stated that it did happen, but Tarantino was very tactful and didn't cross the line. However, if losing consciousness isn't crossing the line, then what did Tarantino mean when he said that actor Christoph Waltz wouldn't be able to do it correctly? The choking would either be too strong or too weak. I know exactly what needs to be done, and I think I just have to do it myself, he said. Diane mentioned that it was a very strange feeling to be choked by the director. Sylvester Stallone and Rocky IV Many people remember Ivan Drago's famous line in Rocky IV, where he says he will break Stallone's character. In real life, it played out similarly. Sylvester Stallone insisted that everything on screen should be real. So, he began to persuade Lynn Grant to fight for real. The actor refused for a long time, but he had nothing to oppose the director's decision and had to agree. The fight between Dolph Lynn Grant and Sylvester Stallone lasted only 15 seconds after which Stallone was taken to one of the London hospitals with two broken ribs. He spent nine days there. The filming had to be suspended, and the insurance company refused to pay Stallone compensation, claiming that the injuries he sustained were more like those from a car accident. To this, Stallone replied that Lund Grant was the truck that knocked everyone out of his way. Jennifer Lawrence in The Hunger Games, Mocking Che, while filming the movie, the actress almost suffocated. Jennifer Lawrence's character leads a group of rebels through a long tunnel, which suddenly fills with smoke. While running through one of the tunnels, Lawrence encountered a malfunctioning smoke machine that filled the space with a thick fog. As a result, she and other actors were deprived of oxygen, and she barely avoided suffocation. When the machine went out of control, Lawrence and the others began to cough and struggle to breathe. They were trapped in the dense smoke and could only be located by the sound of their coughs. The assistant director shouted for someone to turn off the smoke machine and start the fans. After several terrifying minutes, rescuers finally found and pulled the barely alive star to safety. Aaron Paul in Breaking Bad did you know that we almost lost actor Aaron Paul in the first season of Breaking Bad? He played Jesse Pinkman, the right-hand man to the great Walter White. After numerous failed takes of a scene being shot in the desert near their lab trailer, Paul asked the director if he could improvise. Almost immediately after Paul moved from his original position, a huge rock that had been propping up a car trailer came loose and fell exactly where he had just been standing. If Paul hadn't requested changes to the scene, he could have been killed. Halle Berry and Die Another Day In the James Bond movie, there was a real danger for Bond's love interest. The film includes a very revealing scene, where the actor seemingly made a very strong impression on one of the world's most attractive women. During the filming of that scene, Pierce Brosnan wriggled around Halle Berry while they were both naked and told a joke that caused the actress to almost choke from laughter. Of course, no one expected her to choke on a piece of fruit. As Pierce later admitted, he was just watching the suffocating beauty because he was embarrassed by his nudity. Thankfully, everything turned out okay. Jason Statham and The Expendables 3 This actor is capable of handling any task which is why it's not surprising that he was invited to star in such a cool action movie. The director of the film, Sylvester Stallone, told journalists that Jason almost killed himself during the filming of The Expendables 3. While driving a truck with faulty brakes in Bulgaria, the actor fell off an 18-meter high cliff straight into the Black Sea. 
Fortunately, he used his professional driving skills to escape before the truck sank. Meanwhile, Stallone calmly recorded the incident on his mobile camera, then joked that this disaster would have killed an ordinary person, but Statham with his metal skeleton was in phase. Tom Cruise and Dedge of Tomorrow Tom Cruise is also known for performing his own stunts. However, one such stunt nearly cost him his life. In general, this is not allowed in movies because if something happens, insurance companies will stop insuring projects. And of course, the film will have to be closed. But Tom Cruise is usually allowed to do it. In the action movie Edge of Tomorrow, Tom Cruise and his co-star Emily Blunt were in a car. According to the script, he was seated in the back seat while Emily Blunt was driving. Later, she recalled hearing Cruise's screams, hitting the brakes, and then the car crashed into a tree. Emily later admitted that she almost killed Tom Cruise. Johnny Depp and the Lone Ranger In 2013, this film was released, and Johnny was cast as a Native American. On the set, the actor almost lost his life during filming a scene where he was supposed to gallop on a horse through the desert. During the shoot, the horse suddenly stopped and reared up, causing the saddle with the actor to start slipping off. At that moment, the horse decided to continue galloping for 70 feet, dragging the actor along the ground and hitting him several times with its hooves. Colleagues managed to pull Johnny out just in time as the horse almost trampled him to death. The actor had a long recovery period after the incident. Isla Fisher and Now You See Me During the filming of the movie Now You See Me, Isla Fisher performed an underwater trick with an aquarium and chains. Her character had to escape from the aquarium while being bound by a chain. However, during the performance, the chain became unexpectedly stuck, and the actress struggled to free herself from the water. She hit the glass and gestured for help, but no one came to her aid for almost two minutes. Although everyone around her thought she was acting brilliantly, Fisher was actually drowning, and no one even tried to help her. The actress later revealed that the scariest part of the experience was feeling like time was standing still. She was eventually saved by reaching the quick release button and emerging to the surface. Tom Hanks and Cast Away This is one of the actor's most famous films in his filmography. Few people know, but the filming could have ended terribly. The movie was shot on a deserted island where sanitary conditions were far from ideal. During the filming, the actor cut his leg, but he didn't pay enough attention to it. Two weeks later, the cut became severely infected, and Hanks was urgently hospitalized as the infection had entered the wound. Doctors said that if the actor had waited another couple of days, he could have lost his leg. Jackie Chan and Police Story Jackie Chan's career is marked by numerous injuries, and it could be said that there isn't a single part of his body that hasn't been injured. But one injury was particularly severe. In the final scene of the film Police Story, there was a massive brawl in a shopping mall. Jackie, as usual, did all his own stints, including one where he jumped onto an iron pole and slid down, shattering dozens of light bulbs. After that, everything was the same as for previous video heroes an ambulance, a hospital, and a much higher number of injuries and surgeries than usually.